This is the Zyg MP01. It's a new brand with a new product, but somehow it still has pedigree. It's a gaming mouse made by the same people that designed the original Zowie, a legendary brand in the world of gaming mics, and was released to massive amounts of hype, especially in the Counter-Strike gaming world. But to truly understand it, we have to go all the way back into CS, FPS gaming history. Now before I start this video, if you have any questions you want to ask, ask away in the comments or on Discord or Instagram, link in the description. I reply to everything pretty much everywhere. I think the best way to reach me is to Instagram and Discord, so try those places first. But first, let's talk about the mouse. The Zyg MP01 is unassuming. It's got simple lines, simple shape. It's clearly meant for a palm or hybrid grip, with curves and high support for the palm and grooves for your fingers on the sides and the clicks. It's rather ergonomic and it is a non-ambidextrous mouse with a little kind of angle to the left and its dimensions make it a reasonably medium-sized mouse coming in at 120 by 59 by 39 millimeters in the middle. It's neither too big nor small for my needs and I think it's, it's gonna be just fine for most people all around. It's pretty comfortable and weighing 75 grams without the cable, it's also reasonably light. It's pretty comfy to use for long hours and flick hard with and with its simple standard layout it makes sense. It has two thumb buttons but it has a nice low and rather clicky springy rubberized scroll wheel that feels excellent to flick on. and three buttons on the bottom for controlling your DPI refresh rate or port rate and click latency respectively. So for your DPI, you can change, you can go between 4, 8, 16 and 3200 DPI. For your refresh rate, you can go between 125, 500 and 1000 hertz. And for click latency, you can go to 2, 4 or 8 milliseconds click latency. Now, I don't exactly understand why increasing your click latency will improve your click rhythm. But if you're someone who needs to click as quickly as possible, you can just set it to two and forget about it. No idea how that works out, but that's what they claim on the marketing material. I personally cannot tell the difference between two, four, eight milliseconds. It's it's such a short period of timing. It is a slightly ergonomic mouse, so there are curves that guide most of your fingers and kind of your hand into a certain position. And it's not symmetrical, so it's not an ambidextrous mouse, but it's not extreme in any way when it comes to its ergonomic shape. It's still pretty comfortable and pretty flexible and how exactly you can hold it in terms of your finger positioning and stuff. It's overall pretty, you know, smooth, which is good. Now in terms of build, this mouse is excellent. It's got good quality plastics, uh, extremely clicky Huano switches inside, which is something a lot of people wanted with the Zowie mice, and a very nice paracorded cable, so that means braided, but you know, not as heavy as a full braid. Uh, only issue with this mouse in terms of build quality is really the coating that this mouse has. Many people have considered this mouse to be a bit too slippery because of this matte smooth coating that it has, which I think looks excellent. But personally, this is not an issue for me. Oh yeah, and it also has a little Zygen logo on the back here, but that's not really important. I don't think you care too much about that. Oh, and the bottom, it has two large mice feet. So, you know, you get a nice smooth tracking on your mouse pad. And the mouse feet themselves are extremely thin. In fact, thinner than the mouse feet I find on my Endgame Gear XM1 and XM1 R, which is an interesting observation, I guess. Now, internally, in terms of the sensor, which is absolutely important, it has the Pixar PMW 3389 sensor, which is a flawless sensor. That means there's no acceleration, no smoothing, extremely accurate. I think it goes up to 3200 DPI, which is really all you need. And it's a sensor that's been used in many mice, and if you can't aim with this, once again, you just can't aim, it's not the mouse's fault. So overall, this mouse is pretty simple and effective in terms of its design all round. I would say that this is if in your budget, you should really go for it if it's the right size and right style of grip for you. It's excellent all round and really a solid contender, a solid performer. And frankly, the only issue I have with it is that the rare is a tad too wide for me down in the palm area right here. And I think the click position of this mouse is a little bit too high. Now, I really love the design concept of the Endgame Gear XM1 where the clicks are really low. When the clicks are nice and low, it feels really quick and snappy to 
depress and depress those switches but on the Zygen MP01 the click position is a bit higher I guess to support your fingers more for better palm grip but I find that it puts a little bit more strain on the kind of tendons connecting your fingers and puts a little bit more strain on your fingers and it feels like I can't click as quickly as with the Endgame Gear XM1 but all apart from that which are issues really that is personal preference I don't really see any issues with the Zygen MP01 frankly it's nothing that's really a world beater so why the hype? because this is honestly one of the most hyped mouse releases I've ever seen if you follow r slash mouse review on reddit which is a massive subreddit full of people who love finding the best possible gaming mouse that they can get their hands on there was a lot of hype on this well this is mostly related to how this mouse shares a lot of history and pedigree with Zawi and Counter-Strike which is arguably the biggest FPS of all time. Don't try to argue with me. Counter-Strike without a doubt was and still is the biggest long-running competitive FPS of all time. Its simple and stripped down gameplay has withstood the test of time and despite all the odds in an ever-changing gaming landscape, it's still pushing more surviving and doing pretty well for itself. Its simplicity lends itself to its kind of sim simple focus on the core fundamental aspects of FPS gameplay like aim, movement, tactical positioning and teamwork. And because of this kind of simple design, it has resulted in a strong core of enthusiasts who still love this game all the way from its first inception from a long, long time ago. And because it's so simple and basic and still so unchanged over such a long period of time, it's almost like chess in that it's a game that has the same kind of ingredients on the same map every single time, but every game is slightly different and extremely exciting with stunning, captivating and really, really exciting, exhilarating results. And for a game to last that long, to last as long as Counter-Strike has, it definitely needs to have a thriving esports sector. And with esports players comes their gear. And through the history of Counter-Strike, one mouse brand has always been dominant, necessarily in terms of market share, but ne definitely in terms of pedigree and reputation. Though often dated, this mouse brand was never absent and till this day remains the favourite of many top, top pros. Till this very day. And that brand is Zowie. Legends of the game like Snacks, Codzera, Shox, Dupree, all still use Zowie mouse. Even in 2020, 2021 with you know all these updated fancy gear coming out of the market with all this competition like the Ultralight Finals mouse. Despite their outdated internals, many of these pros still use and love the Zowie mice. You see, this is because the Zawi mice have two key things. The two key things of uh, gaming mice are number one, it's shape, and number two, it's weight. Sure, Zawi mice are often lacking the best sensors, and I've seen Zawi mice spin out in actual pro competitions because they use all the old Pixar PMW3360 sensors, which, while not crap, are, aren't the cutting edge and aren't that good either. And they like the fancy Huano switches that you, you know, these newer gaming mice have, but they've always done well thinking phenomenally. One thing really really well and that is the shape. Ergonomically there's something about Zowie mice that appeals to many and if you've ever used one you can see why. There's something pleasing about the shape of Zowie mice because and something that just makes sense. And that's because the originals were designed in collaboration with the pros. The FK in the Zowie FK stands for Philip Kupski or Neo and the EC in the Zowie EC stands for Emil Christensen or Heaton of the legendary NIP team. These are legendary names in the world of Counter-Strike and FPS in general. So no wonder they performed. They were designed by pros for pros, yes, players. So as a result, I mean, it's not a surprise to see if players love them. As for weight, in a game like Counter-Strike, where broke flicks on a slow sensitivity is more of the meta of mice rather than constant fast twitch movements like Quake, it's less of a concern that Zawi mice aren't all that light. So what's more important is its comfort and its you know, ability to be used for long periods of time and held just the right way, which Zowie mice are. So then how is all that related to the Zygen MP01 review today? Well, ever since the Zowie acquisition by monitor company Ben Q, they've been resting on the laurels for quite a bit. Sure, they've released a few pink and white mice, 
but much of what customers wanted frankly weren't met. So when Zygen announced that they were partnering with former CS players, CS pros, I think one player from Japan, and that the OG Zowie Mice designers, the one that designed the FK and EC, were going to be involved and it's going to be that plus modern features with modern sensors, everything that fans have been asking for. This was clearly what Zawi fans have been screaming for, asking for, dreaming for, for a long period of time. It, the Zawi was a crowd favourite, and now in the Zygen MP01, it could be reborn. This was supposed to be that spiritual successor, that true sequel to the original Zawi mice that so many love. That's why the MP01 was so hyped, because it shares a deep and long connection with the most legendary FPS there is, Counter-Strike. It's pro scenes and it's pro players. And it's pretty much what a lot of the people playing these games have been asking. As for whether it's lived up to all of this hype, well, that's pretty controversial. In fact, it's heavily debated. But one of the players in the game, one of the top absolute best players right now, probably second or third in the world, only second or third to like simple or device, Zaiwu definitely thinks that the Zygen MP1 is a worthy successor because he uses one of these. Not saying that if you use this you'll aim like him, but uh, maybe you might. It's definitely got his stamp of approval. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this kind of little bit of history at the end of the video there. I thought it would be quite interesting to throw it in there. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did find it helpful or enjoyed it, make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram or join my Discord that's linked in the description. Uh, if you have any questions you want to ask, ask away down in the comments or in Instagram or Discord. I reply to every single thing everywhere. Anyway, that's it for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching once again. I'll see you guys next time, which is like this week. Next week.